I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card, never change. Play the game. Now we say. Hey, hey, everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage. Probably not gonna put an episode out this week just because I've been busy with a lot of other things. But what I'm gonna show you today is I've got a big, huge 3D printer. So I just got this in the day and I'm about to start assembling it. It's the Comgro T500, it's a 500 by 500 3D printer. I've been waiting on this thing for a couple months now uh, after getting the pr in on the pre orders for it. And this is w one thing I wanted so I could start printing things. Uh, like my Torino cluster, my 65 Mustang cluster, and part of the grill I'm making for the Torino in larger parts. So all my other ones are like 300 by 300, and they're just not big enough for those to be in one size. Uh, so I had to, you know, split them and put them together, and I just, I wanted something a little bit bigger. So that's what we got. Kind of show you guys here a little bit how massive this thing is. Uh, this is my belt printer. You see that one? And this is my printer I use most of the time for everything else. It's, a, it's about 320 by 320. And you can just see next to it how much bigger this is. Now, I still got to assemble this thing. Uh, it's mo it comes mostly assembled. Um, I've got the, the gantry and everything and the hot end all right here. And I got my parts laid out with my supports. And uh, tools and my seven inch clipper screen. So I'm gonna start getting this thing and put it together and hopefully It won't take too long and I might be able to get a test print started today. So There have been known to be some issues with this thing, especially with this heat bed this laminate or whatever the heck this thing is that's on top of this metal is known to only be good up to like 70 degrees or so and it starts bubbling so Anyways, let's get to it. All right, so I want to go ahead and give my first impressions now that I've got it put together. It's a cool machine. It's got a lot of tools. I've still got a, I haven't printed anything yet. I just wanted to assemble it and get it to where it's supposed to. I, I'll tell you what, this thing is sturdy. Uh, I mean, it's all linear rails. It's got a light on the, the hot end. Um, even your, your holder for your filament is a metal bracket. Your, your bracket's in the back to, to sturdy the the actual whole configuration is all metal. So, I mean, it is structurally sound and very nice. It's huge. Uh, it's pretty quiet, surprisingly quiet. Um, the, the clipper looks pretty good. Yet again, I've still got to, you know, do some testing and make sure it's all level and level the bed and everything with the, the clipper set up. But all in all, it's together. And I'm pretty excited about it. So, um, yeah, it's got a massive 500 by 500 machine. So this is going to allow me to do quite a bit of printing. Uh, one example is like I, I I know you guys have seen me working on these. These are my uh, end pieces for the grill I'm making, and I would be able to print one in one solid piece instead of two pieces and then pushing putting them together and gluing them and all that good stuff so that's that's a big part there another one is the, the Torino gauge clusters that I've worked on uh, so that's kind of why I'm doing this why I've invested some more money in these uh, bigger printers newer printers uh, technology's come a long way so I've been 3d printing for a while and I've had this thing for whew, probably five or more years so these these two over here about my new ones and just trying to get used to them and try to get to where I can start really building some good products and always wanted a bigger one so here we go see you guys later all right so we got everything calibrated I said everything I've got my first print now going with the supplied PLA <laughs> That came with the printer. It is printing pretty fast. It's just a simple little uh, Marvel hammer, I guess you would say. So I just sliced it up with the uh, Orca slicer that it came with it, and we'll see how it turns out. 
uh, I, I had some issues trying to get it to level originally and it looks like with this you need to heat the bed before you use the bed mesh and that helps a lot um, I was able to get a lot better leveling with that now I'm printing right in the center so I would expect that to be fine especially with such a small print but all in all it's just taking some getting used to it just uses clipper software which is a lot different than what I'm using usually so but uh it's a fairly quiet uh, printer now you just heard the fan turn on probably and that fan is very loud uh, but in general this thing prints fast um, so we'll see how it goes but so far I like the device it's just going to take me some getting used to because it's so different than the other printers with different software on it so it's a direct drive extruder on it the big old clipper software over here is you know a little bit different so but uh yeah got it hooked up to Wi-Fi and everything and it's rocking and rolling so far so that's pretty much it uh, I might uh you know fire the video camera back up to take a final picture of the final object before I uh, edit and put it up for tonight's video but you know there we go all right guys went great went really fast just printed this little Thor's hammer and it looks good it, I mean it printed impressively fast so I'm about to start a 15 hour print of one of my gauge clusters uh, which I can't believe it says it's only going to take 15 hours but we'll see it might not turn out right it is PLA but I want to give it a shot so um, I've got it firing up for that and we'll see how it turns out but either way at least we've got this thing printing already so um, I'll let you know how it turns out like I said it's a it's a bit of a different machine but uh so far I would highly recommend the T500 it is a little pricey so uh, for your entry entry level people it might be a little bit much but I like it so later I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never changed, but